Hello everyone and welcome to episode four of the Wool and Wishes Knitting Podcast. I'm Kirsty. And I'm Tracy. And you can find us on Instagram as Wool and Wishes. Everything we talk about today will be in the description box below. So this is a place where we talk about all things woolly and yarn, knitting, crochet and a bit of spinning. Um, we're coming to you from the south coast of England in the UK. Yep. So at the time of recording this, it's Friday the 13th. Unlucky for some. Not for us. Hopefully not. Hopefully nothing goes wrong while no. we're um, recording. So it's been quite busy these past few weeks, I think, with um, revising. It's getting up to exam time. So yeah, we've... the kids doing their sats. That's before they go up to secondary school. Yeah. My partner John's doing a, um open university course, so he's been doing assessments. Oh. And I had the opportunity to go to college this past year to study... Yep. art and design so i'm in my last three weeks um before my final exhibition which i'm doing in crochet and latex i might show some of that when oh yeah definitely. when it's done it's a bit weird but you know art, no, that's great gotta yeah. be so i've been busy with that and then not as much knitting and stuff going on but there's yeah. still stuff to show today yeah. so what should we start with what we're wearing um, yeah okay. what we're wearing okay, okay. Yeah, I'll start <laughs> with my finished object. This is the Yoon by Isabel Kramer. And I spoke about this on the last Yes, podcast. the um, not, not swatching. Not swatching. Using different thickness of yarn, wasn't it? Yeah. And it, it is a little bit too big. I a love little it. bit, but I... I love to fit. Yeah. I it's I would. So it had some short rows. Oh, a bit of waist shape. Yeah, it? a little bit of short rows. And then you've got the That feels lovely. It's not massive, is it? It's not I love the I think colour yeah. and the fit. It didn't have short rows at the back though, you said. Yeah, it has got a, it oh, has, has got, got short, short rows. rows. Yeah, oh, it okay. has got short rows at the back, yeah. I don't know whether you can see that so it's, yeah, it's got, like a wider neck line. yeah so it is a little bit too big but i could i can wear it but it's, it worked it worked so you are a genius i am a genius <laughs> it worked out <laughs> that's so good or i'm queen of winging it yeah. <laughs> lucky yeah lucky yeah so yeah i think it does i think it looks all right and i will wear it yeah, it's kind of really like, suits you as well it is a little bit loose around there yeah but it's fine. But nice for the warmer weather as well, yeah. not being clingy. Yeah. Yeah. So the yarn I used was uh, Sirdar Snugly Cashmere Merino. Um, I wouldn't use this again. No. Just because it had so many knots halfway through. So I was having to cut it. So the, at the end, I had so many... Um, ends to weave in yeah where i was having to i would get to a knot and i'd have to cut it That's and then yeah so but other it does it feels lovely yeah it feels yeah. really nice it's nice it yeah, is really soft. nice so uh 57 wool 33 percent acrylic and 10 percent cashmere um affordable yarn yeah it is affordable yarn i mean maybe i've got a bad batch I don't know. I think it's frustrating, obviously, having to go through and there being loads of knots in there. I mean, it's only 50 gram balls. Yeah. You yeah, think it was... with that, you know, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. What about with um, pilling or anything? Any sign of, if you've been wearing it or... No, this is the first time, time I've worn it. But I also had quite a few of those... What are they Slums. called? Yeah. Yeah, I had a few of them. Not too many. I think I managed to pull them through so they were on the inside. Yeah. Oh, also, it had... um. So it's got like a. Oh, the. So you do the pearl. Yeah, the faux seam. Yeah, yeah, which I've not done before, I... so that's different. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I've knit a couple more of Isabel's patterns, and they're the faux seams. In oh, there. really? I like that yeah, I quite like too. that. Yeah, yeah. Although I didn't do it under the, I was supposed to do it under the arm. Oh, so. Do and I, I forgot to do the, I forgot to do the pearl stitch under the arm. Not that you'll ever know. No, but, but, uh, but yeah, so I think that's all I've got to say. Well, that worked out great. Yeah, yeah, I was lucky. I was very really lucky. 
so, so mine i've got um the look at my holes by james n watts i love that this was quite a tricky knit i think i had to concentrate on the pattern repeats yeah quite a lot so it wasn't as relaxing as it could have been and what I should have done is done the four rows. It's an eight row repeat. I should have done four rows and then taken a break each yeah. time. Because you, when you get into a flow and you think you've remembered it, it felt like that's when the mistakes right. happened. Originally, I was going to make it longer. This is where the pattern says to stop. So right. it's cropped here. Yeah. But I was going to take it down to sort of there. Yeah. And I made a mistake sort of here where i had one less stitch at the end and you decrease three stitches right so i had the one less stitch and i just decreased two and i was like i'll stop i'll <laughs> stop it now so i finished the repeat yeah and then um cast off there and then i had and then i wait i waited i put it yeah i put it away and then came back and finished the sleeves it's so good it's amazing. i'm really happy with it i've been wearing it loads yeah I mean, with the weather getting warmer, yeah. layering it over the top. Sometimes I wear it underneath. I've been wearing it underneath dresses yeah. or over the top. And the yarn is Drops Cotton Viscose, which is discontinued. I did do a Google right. search of it as well to see if anywhere had it. But it's been discontinued. But when I finished it, yeah, I thought I it was too difficult. I won't. Yeah, it's not difficult. But I think for me, if I'm if I made I made a mistake early on the first time round yeah. and whipped it out. And then I was expecting it to happen again. So I was like, well, yeah, was you've got it. to really concentrate, haven't you? It's a simple eight row um, repeat. Right. But I got, I was over. It's it. so much lace, didn't it? So if yeah. you do make a mistake, you just. That's what, yeah, that's what I said. Like putting the. Did you put lifelines? I in? put one in and then I had no mistakes and I carried on. I got all the way down. Yeah. And I still had no mistakes. And then yeah. just towards the end, like I said, I almost. And I thought it was going to throw off because you've got the alternating. Um, you know, alternating holes. So I thought yeah. that one stitch, because I, I made the mistake on this row, and I thought, well, it's going to throw off the pattern. And it didn't. No. So. It's so nice. But I think I will make another one. Yeah. Because it's so wearable and versatile. I don't think I could try it. I, I do. I it's would... made me want one. So you might have to yeah. make me one. Oh, yeah, no, you might as well. <laughs> no, Stop I'll be <laughs> It was like that. It was like that. But yeah. the pattern's written brilliantly. I will. It's it's where I will make. I will make more of these. Yeah. I think. I suppose maybe, once you've made a couple, yeah. It'll, yeah. It's just your first one was. Yeah. And making that mistake early on, then yeah. put me in that sort of state of anxiety whilst knitting. Yeah. But I will. Um, I've sl slid off to the side yeah. a bit there. I will. Um, yeah. Definitely make it again. It so, is really nice. That's. Yeah, James N. Watts, look at my holes. Perfect. Fun. Yeah. Um, what have you I've got? got more I've got more FOs. FOs. Yeah, I've got... Oh, um, lovely. So, I think I showed... I started this on the first podcast. Yep. So this is the Sockhead Cow by Kelly McClure. Yep. Yeah, Boho Knits on Instagram. Um... Yeah, so this is so fun. That is it finished. I love yeah, that. Yeah, there's neon micro stripes. Yes, yeah. And it's it's perfect, isn't it? It's a free pattern, by the way, uh, on Ravelry. But I, I think it's the it perfect pattern for that um, special yarn that you're not quite sure what yeah. to do with. Yeah. Because um, it's just the one skein, isn't it? Yeah, and it's this... Oh, God, I sold my hair up. <laughs> it's the um, zip yarn from the wool kitchen. Yeah. That was the one that I did the pop shawl in. Yeah. But yeah, look, it's, it's perfect, isn't it? It's going to be so It's going to be so, and, it, and it's not too tight. No. But it, it is perfect. It's a perfect fit. Perfect. Under a coat yeah. when it gets. Yeah. I love those colours. Yeah, I do. I'll definitely wear them. So that is, that was, I think I had a, yeah, I had a tiny bit left. That's all I had left. Nice. And that was just because I didn't want to 
the risk, cast off. Yeah. yeah, yarn chicken. Yeah, I didn't want to risk it. So that's the wool kitchen, and that's a zip yarn. Uh, seventy five percent BFL, twenty five percent nylon, and the colorway is neon camo. But yeah, so, so you just fun. literally, it's it's a simple knit. Yeah, relaxing. It's, it's, yeah, it is a relaxing knit. Um, just a ribbon, stock in it, and then more ribbon. But I definitely will make more of them. Yeah, definitely. Cause I think that is yeah one just to cast on and not have to just to have worry that. about. Yeah, well I had that just in my bag so whenever i was just sat around doing something like if i'd gone to a an appointment or just get it out of the bag and, yeah yeah travel yeah. knitting yeah so that's the sock head cow by kelly mcclure lovely um so my next um fo is the worsted oh i'll put that down worsted knit basic beanie by Diane Service, and that's a free pattern. And I knit this that. with the um, hand spun that I showed a couple of, was it last episode? A couple of episodes ago. Yeah. And I bought the fiber from Siobhan's Crafts, and it's the colorway Happiness. That is so beautiful. Spun that up. But that's just a basic hat. Um, Worsted, so that knit up pretty quick, and it was nice to see all the colours and how yeah. they work together. Obviously, it's coming out brilliant. It's fun, but depending on how you spin it, yeah, you know the colours come out differently. But I was surprised how much I had left because um, worsted. I thought it will use the whole. I was trying to use up all the yarn, um, and I thought I would take most of the skein. But I've got 44 grams. Oh, wow. Left. It was 100 grams. It was 101 grams to start with, 155 metres worsted. And I've got 44 grams, 67 metres left. So it made me think oh, maybe I should have picked a project. Yeah. Well, I don't use much worsted, so I've got no idea. Like my fingering when you know kind yeah. of how much you can get out of it. Or... Yeah. So some left to stripe in another project. But this was a relaxing knit as yeah. well. And it knit up really quickly, you know. What, what was that one, sorry? This basic was, Beanie. Yeah, this was the Worsted Knit Basic Beanie, is the name of it, by Diane Service. Free pattern. Perfect. So. That's really yeah. nice. I like that. And I've got a couple of, well, neon shawls where they're hand spun. And I've yeah. done, like, the a basic Linus. Um, asymmetrical triangle, sure. Yeah. So compare it with yeah. that. Fun, amazing, brilliant. So well done. Thank you. Um, so More I'll, FOs. Yeah, yeah. I've just been trying to get through all my whips. Have you had a big pile of whips. <laughs> I did, and it become overwhelming. So I was like, right, get get them done. That's the thing, isn't it? So my next one is the uh, end of summer hat by. Justina Lukowski, I think her name is. Um, so yeah, I showed this before. I love this so much. And I added a pom-pom to it. Those colours together. Yeah, I think it worked out pretty well. I'm not gonna put it on because it's literally my hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just added a, added a grey pom-pom in my stash, so. So fun. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So I use for this one, let me just find it, not done it in order, of course. Uh, so that was Fruitful Fusion. Um, oh, I'll show the yarn because I'm using the rest of it oh, in a whip. Pro yeah. So that's fruit, Fruitful Fusion, 75% uh, Superwash Marie. No, and 25% nylon, and that's the, like, the colour work. And then the gr the grey, I think, was... It was Drops Baby Drops Merino. Drops Baby Merino, yeah. But again, that was really fun. Yeah. I enjoyed doing that, even though I ripped it out a couple of times at the beginning. But once once I... I didn't think it would fit, and it does. Yeah. So, but I block, once it was blocked, it it, it did It does, grow a yeah, bit. stretch out a bit, colour work. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I love the 
yarn she chies. Yeah, it goes and well. And that pattern with the variegated. Bit. Yeah. Well, I, like I said to you, I don't didn't use much, but then no. I didn't weigh the ball before. Yeah. I didn't weigh the ball before. Uh, I think I had nine. What did I say? Ninety. I think it was something like ninety. You used something. Something you said for this color. If it had been a hundred grams, it was something only of something like twenty grams you'd used. Yeah. For, and I thought it might have been a heavy skein to start with because yeah, sometimes they're like hundred and nine. Yeah, because it does seem like. Just don't know. It's hard to judge how yeah, much. Yeah, it is. But I had, I had so much left after so I thought, oh, I'll start another project, but that's in one of my whips. But yeah, so that is... Amazing. The end of Summer Hat. That, that wasn't a free pattern. That's not a free pattern, though. So yeah. But I find with patterns, the, the amount of yarn they say you need as well, they overestimate a lot yeah. of the time, so people don't run out. Yeah. So you can't ever... No. Be sure you've got yeah. more FOs, haven't you? Yeah, you. That's that's me for FOs this time. You for FOs. Well, um, of knitting. Oh, I've just got my. Uh, so I've finished. Finally, got two pairs of the uh, shorty socks, and it was my first time doing the shadow wrap heel. So I've finished those now. How do you find those? Uh, they don't. They're a bit too small for me, but the heel I absolutely loved. Um, I just know that I've got to do, I always do 60 rows on the um, foot. Yep. Uh, but with that heel, I need to do a few more rows. But my sister come round and she, I've never knit her any socks. And I said, oh, you've got smaller feet, try them on. And she was like, oh, I love them. Oh, so wow. these are, she's been waiting for <laughs> these. So I thought, get them done, get them finished so she can now have these. So they're for you, Sharon. Fun we'll colours as well. Yeah. And they're um, sisters, not twins. Yep. Just, I did try, but no, it didn't work out. Um, the yarn was uh, Head Over Hills All Stars in the colourway pool. And that is, if I can find it, again, 75% superwash wool, 25% nylon. And I've got quite, I, pro, I think I can make another pair of shorties. Yeah, definitely. So I probably will make myself some, maybe add a few more rows if I can. Contrasting heel, maybe. Oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, actually I will do that. So yeah, finally finished. Fun and, and a different heel that now you've learned to add to yeah. your... And it's so much quicker and yeah. I really enjoyed doing it really enjoy doing it so i definitely will do that again i need to try some different short row heels i think i prefer a short row heel i did half make a sock with a heel flap um and i don't know if the fit's going to be right and i like the speed of the i normally do the fish lips kiss yeah but it's a similar thing other short row heels a similar shape so yeah yeah try some more of those but my sock my sock knitting mojo has not been i haven't been there no. inspired by anything or yeah no oh i love my socks more doing the garments. i do love doing socks yeah um yeah well yeah <laughs> more socks more socks so i've finally finished these ones these are just vanilla socks yeah, i'll show the sparkle by the uh crazy sock lady just her vanilla sock pattern and the yarn for that one is and the sparkle in it yeah it's got stellina in it five percent stellina uh, the Sherbin Sparkle Sock Yarn by Dragon Hill Studio. Fun. I love self-striping yarn. Yeah. I love their yarn. And I've still got that that much left. But it's so nice. They've knit up really well. That is fun as well. The rainbows, yeah. micro stripes as well. Yeah. And these are for me, so I can't wait to wear them. Yay. <laughs> Finally finished them. And that's your um, normal heel you do, isn't it? The yeah, heel that's flap. the heel flap and gusset. Yeah. I love the look of it, though, the heel flap. It fits so well. With it does slip. fit me so well. And my mum. With the slip stitch. Um... Oh, I'm not getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Looks so nice, doesn't it? But yeah, that colourway was... Where have I put that now? There. Uh, pastel colour wheel. Fun. But yeah, so nice. So I might have to. I've got loads of their yarn. So I are might... you going to use the 
use that in another project or with a, a scrappy project? I will probably, yeah. I might just put it in a scrappy project. Yeah. I've um, got so many of like that size. Yeah. <laughs> I do need to find some projects to... Um, Stephen West's got a new pattern that's come out. I think it's the Garter Mala sweater. Oh, right. That I think holds fingering weight doubled and it's just garter yoke um to use Ooh. up scraps but i wasn't sure if garter in a sweater might be too stretchy the patterns that yeah. people have made though the project patterns look quite fun oh yeah so that's that's it for my fo's fo's yeah that's mine i've got yeah. a um whip here so i've seen some uh crochet sweaters um, using sort of granny um, squares or things like that and I've been looking at the granny go round jumper by Iron Lamb for a while and I had the pattern and I thought I'm going to give it a go. It calls for special DK um, oh, right. but I had a load of scraps so I decided to hold fingering oh, weight God. doubled and I didn't swatch because I thought, oh, it's crochet. So I I did a few rows and then um, thought, that looks about right. Yeah. But because I started crochet with the Amiga Rumi, you need the stitches to be tight so the stuffing doesn't show through. Yeah. So I, I feel that my tension with crochet is way off. So right. I use a four millimetre hook. I think these are clover hooks. Mm. They look like this anyway, yeah. but out of all the crochet hooks I've used, these are my favourite. Right. I love the fact that the plastic um, handle with the little rubber bit there is just enough because some of them, the rubber handles, they get a bit weird after a while. Yeah. They sort of deteriorate. deteriorate. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, these are my absolute favourite. So I should show it, shouldn't I? I keep talking. That um, is amazing. This is what I've got. I love that. So far. So I think I went for the size medium. Right. And I increased down. I followed the pattern. But where my gauge was off, I got to where I needed to stop. And it was cutting in on the armpit. Right. So I then carried on in increasing. At one point, I added an extra row on the body. Um, and not on the sleeve. So at this point... I'm winging it now. Yeah. And I'm just trying to make it. Can you see that? I that can't is... see the screen. Yeah. I'm just trying to make it. That is so nice. Just work. Hold it back a bit. That's it. So I've got it to there. I'm not sure how long I'll do the. I might try it on and show you what it looks like. Um, and that's the great thing about crochet. You can just keep trying it on. Yeah. Whereas yeah. knitting, you've got to keep yeah. putting it on the long. Um, Stitches. I absolutely love that. So obviously I'm wearing it with this top underneath, but I'll show you. There's no sort of short row yeah. shaping at the back. So Oh, it, that is lovely. But it does stick out at the back. You see it sticking out there. Yeah. You know, so um I don't know if I'll have it just slightly longer cropped and short sleeve yeah. or if I'll knit it longer that and is then so nice. I'll crochet it longer. But I thought I will knit, I've seen some people's projects and they've knit the cuffs and rather than doing crochet right, yeah. ribbing. So I'll do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just making it work at this point and hoping I love it... the colours and it's just scraps. This is all commercial yarn. So a lot of it is Drops Fable. Yeah. Um, Opal. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Commercial sock yarn. And then I've paired it with uh, all of the drops, four plies that you can get. No, no, Nord, I think it is. Right, yeah. Um, so, just doubling them up. This was Opal, this neon. Uh, that is so nice. It's really thick, though, because it's kind of double the... Uh, it's not got much drape to it, but it is like wearing blanket. Yeah. If you, if yeah. you see the thickness. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's but heavy. they'll be, yeah, it's heavy. But I'm thinking in the winter, that's going to be so warm. Wearing a blanket. Yeah, perfect. Um, I love that. 
I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. The fit's going to be a bit weird. The fabric is not very drapey, but... It don't matter, does no. it? It really don't. Um, crochet is actually coming in, because yeah, yeah. walking around the shops in town... Oh, there's loads of crochet so stuff. So much crochet for the summer. Yeah. Loads of, like, even, like, skirts and dresses, and I've heard Shannon going, oh, Mum, can you make me this? Can you make me that? It's quicker. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, I just kept going with it. And it doesn't matter when you make mistakes. It's so much easier to yeah. fix, isn't it, on crochet? I absolutely love that. So that's the Granny Go Round Jumper by... Got lots of... Uh, um, yeah, got I'll, lots yeah, of I'll show, I'll show. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. so there'll be lots of ends to weave in. That's a fun in evening project to yes. sit there and Yeah, a whole day in. of weaving in ends, yeah. but really fun so i'm excited to have this finished and then obviously when it gets to the um winter yeah and because it's a sock yarn it's hard wearing as well so it will just be yeah a wearable blanket but yeah a lot of crochet um patterns coming in yeah wow. nice. so yeah couldn't resist Brilliant. that and all the scraps so all the socks i've made like, like you said the little yeah. balls like that i've had them sat there and i'm just and you've doubled them I've just held them double. Oh, that, that. Yeah, same as the sort of, I was, I was torn between doing this or the Garth Zamala. Yeah. And I, I was like, crochet. Perfect. So, yes. that's fun. Yeah, what have I got? Oh, so I've got, so that yarn that I used in the hat, it looks so different on its own. Yeah. I am making the Hermione's I yeah. <laughs> everyday sock. Wow. This is the first time I've used it. These, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. But doesn't it look? It looks so different in, in the socks than it does. I in think it's, hat. yeah, more, I don't know. There's more contrast between yeah. them. I think the gray softens the contrast between those. Yeah. Still gorgeous. Oh, is this a new heel? Oh, yes. Yes. That's so, fancy. It is the heel that um, comes with the pattern. It is the... Oh, what is it called? Is it the Eye of Partridge? Eye of Partridge. Wow. Eye of Partridge heel. You should get that closer. That looks so nice. Is yeah. it complicated? It's not complicated. It is... Um, so it's very much like the slip stitch heel. Yeah. But you've got a, I think it's a four pattern repeat. So you slip you've got different a, ones. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you do. Yeah. One time you're slipping first, knitting first. The next time you're knitting first, slipping first. Yeah. So and also it's got a garter. She does a. Uh, it's that looks so nice. A garter stitch at the beginning of each side. You always get a side, don't you, that's not as... <laughs> I tried to pick it up from underneath, but and it's given a little ridge, but it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I, I did enjoy doing that hill. It's not... I mean, I think it's just going to be the same as the... Oh, with the fit? Yeah, I think the fit will be exactly the same. It, it just looks, gives it a little... It looks it's nice, so isn't nice. it? Yeah. yeah I've knit I'm happy with that. socks, the pattern, but I didn't do the hill. I just did the fish lips kiss. I just... Yeah. Yeah, but I was going to, and I so I was going to do the shadow wrap, yeah, because I wanted to do it quicker. Um, and I thought, no, it's another heel, and yeah. I haven't done <clears throat> so now. I've done, I can do three heels, yeah, of the socks. Oh my oh, god, <laughs> 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 fly off the everywhere. walls alive. Um, so yeah, so that's the Hermione's everyday socks. Who was that by? That's the, but yeah, that's a free pattern on Ravelry. I mean, I think everyone's probably knit them. Quite, it's been um, up there a, a while. It's pattern. a really nice um, texture. Erica. La mm. Loida. Loida. I'll probably butcher that. That's her name there. So, yeah. Got, what's another sock on the go? So fun. Yeah. And I've just got I love those there. colours. It's, they're so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they're really nice. But yeah, that's good that I've like got a hat and I'm gonna get a, a pair of socks out of it as that's well. A, yeah, with four four ply or fingering, you get much more. Do you have you knit anything with lace, lace weight? 
No. Because, yeah, you'll get, obviously, loads yeah. out of that. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't. So, yeah, that's a whip. Got any more whip? Oh, another whip. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm sort of thinking, you know, another summer top. Uh, and this is the... Um, I'll get the picture. It's the... Try not to show any of the pattern things. So this is the... I don't think there's any pattern things on there. The um, Ghost Whisperer by Park Williams. And it's a knitting mohair silk lace weight. Oh, wow. Um, on large needles. So you, I'm all caught up the bag. So you get a um, open, oh that's beautiful, airy, um, yeah. How Ghost nice whisperer. Is that? So it would be sort of cropped, cropped, um, yeah. cropped with Look. the. Oh, that feels so beautiful. Yeah, and so you'll be nice. able to sort of see through it. Yeah. So with puff sleeves. Cropped, I think for my size, it's going to use less than three balls of this. So you've got black, haven't yeah. you? So you could. Um, wow. On 6.5. Is it easy to knit with just... It is, actually. I thought it was going to be awkward and I thought they were going to be... I've got metal needles and I thought they were going to be slipping off. But you can see because of the large, I've actually got to push, push it quite it a bit. They're not yeah. falling off because that's what I was worried about. So, oh, that's lovely. I've got to. I think the pattern calls for 7.5 for the crop length, 7.5 um, inches before separating for the sleeve. So, bottom up, and I'm going to do it 10, I think, and yeah. then go from there. But yeah, got my little sheepy uh, stitch marker there. That is so nice. And then I'll layer it like this over things. Yeah. I've seen Kat from Heather and Hops has been making a lot of lace. Cloud bow she's been making that was yeah. in the latest issue of Pom Pom. That's, yeah, uh, Heather and Hops podcast. Yeah. Um, really, Kat makes yeah. really cool. So if you're looking for another podcast to go and watch, go check her out. Yeah. We'll link, actually. Yeah, we'll link. Um, really fun stuff. But, yeah. yeah, she's been making some mohair things. And actually, yeah. it was seeing her projects that I was like, oh, I want to do a... Yeah. Mohair She's one. been making some lovely like dresses. Yeah, and... that that that's the cloud bow. Yeah. It can be a crop, uh, a top, top or, or a dress, dress. Yeah. in the issue forty of Pom Pom magazine. Ooh. But I'd had my that's eye on lovely. this one. That's yeah. really nice. I still haven't used mohair yet. I will. I haven't ever made a single strand lace yeah. project, but I think because it's mohair, it fills in the gaps and it's stickier on the needles yeah that's lovely so i'm excited to finish that but i've just been a little bit of time at the moment it's easy it's, it's just, easy it's just yeah. round and round but when i separate for the um yeah so you don't so it's not it's not lace work you're just knitting just knitting but it opens up but like it just lace. looks like lace yeah oh so that might be a good project for me <laughs> yeah yeah fun mm, that is lovely so that's Perfect um the summer Another whip I've been working on. Have you got? Yeah, I've got. Put that over I've there. I've got one more whip. So I've been going through my stash, and when I first started, like crocheting. Yeah. I think I must have bought every colour of Stylecraft. Um, DK. DK. Yeah, yeah. It was the one to go for, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, making the amigurumi toys. Perfect. I always used. Well, that that's what. This jumper, the pattern is the uh, granny go round is in Stylecraft DK. They call for that for the pattern. So yeah. Oh right. So well, I've got loads of that, so I could probably <laughs> yeah. I could probably make ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um. But yeah, I just thought I need to get through some of this. I don't want it just sat there. No. So I thought I cast on a um, granny stripe. Yep. And I've never made a granny stripe blanket. I see them all the time. And think oh, like in the background and think. Granny stripe and whatever blanket I've made, someone's always said, Oh, can I have that? Yeah, and I do, and I'm going for a Oh, yeah, have it. So I picked out, let me just 
I'll show you the yarn there. Lovely. Some lovely pastel colours. I think they all go lovely they together. They do. And started. Oh, so fun. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Those colours together are perfect. Yeah. So nice, aren't they? It's going to look lovely. The only problem is, Shannon come round. <laughs> it's your daughter. Yep, yeah, Shannon, my eldest, come over to visit and said, oh my God, Mum, I absolutely love that. Please, can you make it for me? And I was like, I really wanted to make myself a blanket. <laughs> she was like, Mum, it goes so well. My bedroom's all pastels. So yeah, this it's, isn't for me. <laughs> it'll be for it's Shannon. It's for Shannon, yeah. I yep. expect Sylvia's going to look at that as well and be like, she's in love with the Battenberg oh, really? blanket you've been making. Yeah, she's like, oh, oh, I really want, I really want one. I really want one oh, of those. Oh, bless her. But, but yeah, so yeah, that that I absolutely love. This, so this is Attic 24, Lucy from Attic yeah. 24. Um, just went on, I think that's a free pattern as well. It's just on a website. It's so relaxing as well. Oh. Um, I love the rhythm of doing it it's yeah, the same, it's same uh, as that isn't it yeah it's, it's just, granny yeah granny stripe and just the rhythm of the of the clusters yeah i was showing <clears> my <throat> mum it last night actually and she was like oh that's made me want to cast on a blanket now a, a crochet i think it's a great beginner project as well if you are not a crocheter but yeah. you're interested yeah. in learning yeah definitely definitely but i just love i love that that would even look nice in the top. I'm not even going to say that because Shannon will be then on. The <laughs> yeah. She'll see that top now and she'll be like, oh, I love that. And have it in that colours. It would. Yeah, it would look. I've, I'm the same. I've got loads of special DK style craft. Yeah. I, I, I've literally, I've, well, I've got chests that are filled. It needs to be used. So I'm just going to, I think I am just going to go through it all. Doing blankets. Doing blankets. There's so many and... really nice. Um, Crochet blankets. Oh, Attic well. 24, yeah. I've got loads. Well, I was on there and I was like, oh, what do I do? And then I thought, no, I'll just do a stripe for now. There's the gra Grafgan? Is it Grafgan? Grafgans. Yeah. Is it Grafgans? With the sort of colour work yeah. in there as well. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if that's on Attic. If I don't Lucy know. I'm has not got sure. Those, but yeah, getting back yeah. into a bit more crochet. Yeah. So. Lovely choice. Yeah. I absolutely love that. I think it's really, really nice colours. And you forget, when I was going through it, I was like, oh my God. Of how much of it you've got, yeah. I really, I've got far too much. But yeah, does that come in? And I was like, that's not the boy's blanket. <laughs> oh, because he, he was getting the blanket. I was like, well, to be fair, Zach, you got my first ever crochet um, blanket. Was that the yellow and grey? No, that was, remember I put his name, I'd oh, done yeah. bubbles oh, yeah, and done yeah. his name and done the um, popcorns, is it? Yeah, yeah. But, and then I just done granny squares and then sewed them all together and then done his Have name. Have you got a picture of it? Yeah, I'll put a picture, insert, insert a picture yeah. of it. But it was my first ever um, crochet blanket. So I said to him, you have got, <laughs> you have got a blanket, bless him. But then we got my, na my nan had knit us all, before she died, she knit everyone because she just at the end she was just knitting squares yeah um and she wanted to knit all her grandchildren um a blanket that's lovely uh, there's so many of us so oh. many of us. i think can't even count how many cousins i've got probably over 30. oh wow yeah so she she done the squares and her friend crocheted them together the, oh, the nice. knit. and we were going through it last night and i was showing my mum and uh like I, I would look and i was like oh you've made a mistake <laughs> <laughs> we were laughing i was like look mum and i was holding it up to the facetime camera and i was like look she's done a pearl there when it should be a knit <laughs> but i'll put a picture in of of that as well yeah, it's so great. lovely and we've all got one and it's so nice to keep you managed to everyone's yeah i think I, wow i'm pretty sure we've all that's amazing got one so, yeah, I'd love to see it as well. I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so Seen nice. Those. But I'll, I will, I'll put a picture in of that as well. So, yeah. Crochet projects. Yeah. Fun. Um, oh, what have I got? Yes. So, I finished a spinning, a sweater spin, large spinning project. And I'm actually kicking myself because I didn't show any of the fibre. I've been spinning this for probably five weeks and Did I didn't show it. Did you take a picture it, um, of it or anything? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I 
had some red and blue fiber which will insert picture now yeah of and 200 grams and i blended it together with 100 grams of merino and 100 grams of gray um shetland to make this i'll have to bring it up close so the red and blue of the original um fiber i wasn't sure about plus i wanted a larger quantity to be able to do a sweater 400 grams i thought for a crotch short sleeve yeah something or other um but yeah so this is what i've got a kind of neutral it's reading as a gray um and what have i got so it's 50% BFL, 25% Shetland, 25% Merino, 763 metres. It ended up being 380 grams for some reason and a DK. So I was thinking I haven't um, knit one before, but maybe a love note. Oh, nice. And I've got enough for a size small or a size medium. Um, and this so I can decide what size I want to do. Or maybe something else, but that's what I'm thinking um, right now. But that's so nice. Yeah, I want to do a love note. Everyone go raves about it, don't they? There's that's so it. many people that have... Oh, with all the comments that people shared last yeah. time for the giveaway, telling yeah. us about all patterns. It's been so yeah. fun going through, and it has been making me think, well, the yeah. ranunculus keeps coming up. Yes. And the love note. And so it must be good. You know, people yeah. are saying, I've, I've knit four yeah. of these. So yeah. I was like, it looks nice. Yeah. Give it but, a go. Uh, Nathan, my husband, he, keep, he keeps saying, oh, when are you knitting the ranunculus? When are you knitting the love note? And I'm like, how do you even know this? He's like, everyone raves about me in your comments. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, John was the same. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard that one. Yeah. I've heard that one, ranunculus. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so I bought That's a neutral really nice. that a bit different. So it's not just, you know, it's not, it's from a distance, it will look grey. Yeah. But close up, you've got, got all the, the specs of... Um, Red and blue. Really well there. That's so nice. So yeah, excited. Did that take a long time? I was stopping and starting. I didn't, you know, it was just a project that was on the go. But yeah, over sort of five weeks, I think if I sit at the wheel for yeah. too long spinning, I've got an Ashford Kiwi 2 and I I get hunched over and it's yeah. not comfortable. So I don't try and rush with a big uh, project. Um. So yeah. Uh, you know a few perfect. weeks to do yeah but yeah so my next that's perfect i don't know when i'll cast it on or if i like i said if i will do a love note but it probably will yeah um so i'm excited about about that sorry that's i still really think good. i keep sliding yeah. off into the the wheels like, on your yeah chair. i've got a, got a wheel. wheelie chair so <laughs> sliding off over there so excited about that's that that's really good yeah but i must take more time when i'm thinking larger spins they take so long that i should take more care over what colors I'm blending together. Oh, I blended them on the drum carder as well. Right. Um, and made that. I don't, I don't know what one of those are. I should add more pictures, actually. Yeah. I haven't sent them to you yet. Yeah, that's fine. Of the... So that, yeah, I'm excited. Fun. I'm excited. And I love a big um, big scheme like that of yeah. hand spun. Yeah. I don't think I've got anything. Actually, I didn't give the colours. Oh, I of the, yeah. yeah. Because that is a nice colour combination. Yeah. If people might want to go out. I think you can get how much is Starcraft DK? Is it what? Oh, it's, it's under two pounds. Yeah, under definitely under two pounds. So I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more colours. Yeah, I'm you open it up and it's got all the colour numbers so I could oh, look and really? go if I wanted to make a watermelon or something I could look through all the colours and know which ones to order the, oh, swap, wow. the shade cards oh that's a good idea yeah they sell them on um oh I might have to have a look at that so that colour is buttermilk so that's the the yellow there and that's the stylecraft I'm sure everyone's seen stylecraft DK special DK um and then did you write the storm blue? I'm pretty sure it is yeah. that one. So that's storm blue. 
the lighter blue. Should I hold this up while yeah. you're... So the lighter blue there is duck egg. Um, and then that there, that greeny colour is sage. And then I think that's mushroom. Yeah, that colour at the top is mushroom. That's what I'm actually using, I think, for my art project. Oh, is it? Right now, yeah. Um, oh, and I think that's all, all I've got. Did you that? do the peach one? No, I don't, can't see where the... The tag is? No, I haven't got the tag for that. Uh, and I think that one was rose, I'm pretty sure, is the... That one. And pink. Yeah, the... I'll have to put it in the description box below what the uh, orange one is. I Fun. I love this. I it's I'm gonna um start one. It's inspired me actually yeah. to go through mine and Well that's it. I went on to Instagram and just typed in uh Granny Strike blanket and I was just like, Oh all yeah, the they're so everybody's are They beautiful. just all look lovely, don't they? Yeah. It doesn't matter what colour So yeah, I'd definitely be making more of them. And it's a lovely thing to do in the evening or when you've got people round and you just wanna Keep your hands busy. Yeah, because yeah. I can do that and talk. And... So, yeah. so I did some more, um, I did some fibre prep. So Wingham Wall does, I think I wrote it down actually. I should check if I've got it right. No, I think they're 500 gram bags of wool laps. So when they're processing the fibre, sometimes there's off. Uh, bits that come off or they get wrapped around and so they sell them cheaper big bags of mixed colors 500 grams for 11 pound at the time All of right. recording yeah um so i got my blending board and made some rolags ready for spinning so oh, wow. each of these i've made three rolags 20 grams of each to spin on my spindle so i've done this sort of yellowy green love that color um and i've blended some of these I think they're merino, most of the stuff that's in these bags, but the, the thing is, you don't know. It's all animal fibres, wool and wool blend, so there might be some alpaca in there. Right. But I also blended these, some of these with white Corriedale as well. So this pink one. That's so nice. So for spindle spinning, 20 grams, I'll be making little mini hand spun skeins. This um, greens here. But I wanted them to be um, tonal as well, yeah. so that they're easier to use in colour work. This, oh, I like that um, one. That's like a mermaidy. Yeah. I love that. Blues and purples. Um, sorry about the crinkling. You have been busy. Yeah, I did. I I had a whole day where I was blending fibres and just. Having I think. Fun. <laughs> yeah, when it gets warmer, I end up spinning more yeah. and knitting less so we've had a few warm days Ooh, this that's one nice. yeah at first i was like it looks like bacon and then <laughs> i'm like no it's rose <laughs> not bacon it's rose you're making me hungry <laughs> yeah um a couple more so this peachy one oranges Ooh, nice. and peaches and then this yellow and grey I blended together which I thought Ooh, actually looked quite nice yeah a bit different grello yeah like a bit of grello and then I decided to um blend up a larger amount and I don't quite know what I was thinking color wise so this is um German merino yellow merino, orange sari silk, and white tussa silk. And these I done on the blending board, but then um, sort of dizzed off into a uh, sort of long strips. But this, which Ooh. I was like, I don't know what I've done here. What what am I doing? What is this? I, lo I like that. And I at like first that. I thought, um, oh, it reminds me of something. And I was like, Jaffa cakes. <laughs> Yeah. It reminds me of Jaffa Cakes or Marmalade and Marmite. Yeah. And then, and this is the picture I sent you, and yeah. then I realised what it was, and it's 70s bus seats. 
we're insert the picture yeah so i was a kid early sort of 80s and i remember being on buses and this is the color of it definitely um, is yeah the bus <laughs> seats so i Love started that. on my drop spindle spinning some up and this is what it's sort of looking like which That's is nice. It's interesting. It I think is. I've got 59 grams. So hopefully when I'm done, it'll be a fingering weight, which I seem to be able to spin a fingering weight easier on a drop spindle than on my spinning wheel because right. I don't have to pinch it as hard. Yeah. The tension of the spinning wheel, it pulls it. And I've, I've mucked about with the tension, but I have to pinch so hard. So the twist doesn't go into the rest of the fiber. Right. That it hurts my fingers and I can't spin for very long. So spinning on the drop spindle this is just a basic i think i got this from heidi heidi's feathers or heidi feathers um on ebay but she's got an itsy shop as well but it's just a beginner spindle and it works perfectly you know it works yeah. fine it spins for a long time you know sometimes sort of beginner um tools aren't very good yeah this is fine i've got some more expensive spindles and none of them spin as well yeah, as, that. Yeah. as this one yeah. so yeah so that'll be fun so over the summer i'll take the spinning projects out with me these sort of 20 gram mm. rolex and hopefully by the end of the summer maybe i should get a little spindle and just yeah. try it's just see it's really I don't affordable need crafty no <laughs> but like i said with those 11 gram bags from wing and wool as well sorry 500 grams for 11 pounds of wool laps yeah. For fibre prep, if especially a beginner, you've got plenty of fibre to play with. And you can just get hand cards or even sort of uh, animal brushes, like a dog brush, and make smaller Rolex or just blend little clouds. Or you can pull fibre apart and just have little clouds that you spin. Um, you know, and yeah. I think this was maybe... I want to say it's sort of it's twenty pounds, and you get a spindle and some stuff, you know, that you can pick these up really cheap. Yeah, these spindles. So yeah, so getting into fun. that. Yeah, 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 enjoying that. So I've been sitting in the living room as well and watching, um, you know, YouTube videos. We've been watching a lot of sort of survival videos. So yeah. guys go out into the wilderness with nothing and catch fish, and with with the family with John. Yeah, nice. Um, whilst spinning those so that's been nice yeah so should we take a break and then come back with prize winners yeah from our giveaway we should have said that at the beginning yeah actually. we should have but well yeah. we're saying it now so maybe we'll <laughs> say it in the in the title or something yeah, yeah we'll come back in a minute with the giveaway winners yeah so thank you to everyone for entering we got a Loads of people entered, lovely comments, and we really appreciate it. And that was to, yeah. for the giveaway to say thank you for 500 subscribers. Yeah. Since then, we've got some more. So, yeah, so thank you. Amazing. So we'll start with winners. Yes. So I'll start with the hand spun. So this prize was the hand spun and the stitch marker from Coral Rose Fibre Arts. And the winner of that is, is Karen Oliver elevation and we'll put their names across the thing. i've got yeah i've screenshotted the thing so i'll put that up anyway as well so and for all the winners if they contact us at, at our gmail at will and wishes at gmail.com and that's in the description box below. that'll be linked yeah if you just um send us an email with your Same address you, and, yeah one yeah and if you we haven't heard from you then we'll reach out yeah later on but so that one's so Karen. Well done, Olive. Karen. Yeah. And then for the spinners, so that was this bundle with the tea and the sheep and the um, coral rose fibre. So go check coral rose um, out. We'll link again in the description box. Yeah. Shetland fibre. So the winner for that was is Diana W. Diana W. So you reach out to us and we'll yeah. get that. Well done. Post it off to you. Yeah, if you get those. And then the winner of the project bag, the progress keeper, and the skein of skein queens yarn is Marie Davis. So congratulations! Well done, Marie. and thank you so much for all commenting and 
entering. Yeah, it's been fun, isn't it? it? Has I've been loved, fun. I've loved it. First giveaway, so yeah. really nice. And there'll be more. There yeah. will be more. There will be more. So that yeah. was really, that was exciting. I love it. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Um. So yeah, now we'll move on to some acquisitions. Yeah. I um. So my partner John, he had to go to Petersfield and have some work done on his motorbike, yeah. and he popped into handmade handmade studio yarn shop yeah and picked me up some of this which is um it's midwinter yarns naturally scandinavian there's the there's the tag which was funny because i said to him did you read the tags because like with the scandinavian <laughs> um it's lithuanian linen 100 percent linen heavy lace light fingering 450 meters um in 100 grams and he got me this green one oh. as well of those so i love linen oh i love those together as well perfect for um a summer knit i'm yeah. thinking maybe a shawl because i haven't got a lightweight shawl and i've noticed recently you sort of go out and you feel like you need something extra yeah and yeah yeah that would be really nice or a top i i'm not sure but i've been searching loads of patterns and yeah. haven't decided i'm kind of like oh I love that green. That's so nice. Um, and he also got me, um, this is Burrow and Saw. Look at those colours. That is lovely. And again, he didn't read any of the labels. You just, just grabbed. Just them. Yeah, he just How grabbed nice. things. But I Nathan. couldn't believe. <laughs> I How could... nice is John? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe how well um, he did with yeah. his with his fiber choices and everything so this is 55 percent merino 25 percent nylon um and 20 percent. i think it says kid mohair it looks like wid mohair yeah but it's got to be kid mohair yeah. um and that's 400 meters sock yarn so it's got the mohair in there so oh, wow. i'm really oh what's the colorway uh spring sunlight so i've not seen mohair in a sock yeah, no, not think. already in, no. No. People holding it double. So yeah. I was like, wow. Perfect. But Burrow and Saw, we'll link them as well. Nice. In there. So yeah, That's I was lovely. like, yay. Yeah. Buy me yarn. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I've got my... Um... Oh, I can tell. Oh, yeah, I, I, these I just... ones, yeah. Yeah. So, oh. I was on Etsy and I was just, I thought to myself, oh, I want a new project bag. And I come across these, they're tags, aren't they? So yeah. you can put them on your project bags, like your socks and cardigan. And I thought, oh, what an amazing idea. Let's see if I hold up the individuals. So I bought, yeah. Oh, I love it. So I can't see what they say because it comes up backwards. Shawls. Oh, shawl. Jumper, I think. Jumper socks and cardigan so they can I thought, that's such a good idea yeah so i thought right i'm oh yeah i'll have one of them and then later on i got a message on my etsy saying um i think you've ordered two by accident and i had i i don't know how it happened yeah. i'd paid for two um and the and lo the lovely jeanette she messaged me and said oh i just want to make sure before i send them out whether yeah. that was a mistake and i i said i'll it was a mistake, but um, I'll give them, I'll give the other ones to my sister in law. Yay! So I got so some. She, <laughs> yeah. Thank um, you. But yeah, I thought that was so nice. She didn't have to do that and message, and you know, she could have just sent them out. And yeah. And then I realised it was um, Crafty Clegg. Yeah. Afterwards, so I uh, messaged. Yeah, I messaged her back, and uh, she sent kindly send sent us a extra an extra set, set for an for our next giveaway for future giveaways Lesser. that's lovely so nice so yeah go and check her out that's um crafty clegs creations uh she's on instagram and she's got a youtube channel but i think her husband makes these yeah they look like they've I think been like uh, on a laser aren't they yeah like laser cut and then maybe uh hands she's got some nice in, project so. bags as well she's Fun. got her own etsy shop crafty but yeah clegs. how lovely that is that lovely. so nice so so we also want to say thank you to Mouse's Makes. Oh, yes. For giving us a shout out. And we've been um, watching her podcast. She's got a podcast. She's, yeah, she's got a lovely podcast. So we'll link that below. And I, it's yeah. really fun. And 
makes yeah. a lot of cool projects and she has a cat there as well who sits yeah, in the in basket the window yeah, yeah, yeah so, so cute lovely. so i've been having a lot of fun watching yeah, so thank you for showing us out that yeah. was really nice yeah and it's so people, welcomed yeah it's so welcomed into this community yeah it was lovely it's lovely and we've been uh catching up now on uh, yeah, all, all her them. episodes but if you're looking for yeah. a podcast to go and watch yeah check check her out we'll link in the description yeah definitely as well so, yeah, so wow it feels like it's gone quick today it has yeah feels like i don't think we had as many breaks i think we just yeah i think we we had a we're lot getting, of, yeah we're getting in, we're getting we're getting getting used now. to it yeah getting used to it but thank you for joining us everybody and thank you so much if you've taken the time to watch the video to this point as well and for yeah. clicking on the video we really appreciate and please it please comment below as well because it help it it does help our um you know our channel it does and we love to talk and see what you're all making oh it's lovely and my mum reads all the comments as well she yeah. goes through and reads all yeah. the comments well like i say nathan does as well <laughs> yeah it's lovely it's really lovely getting to know everybody yeah it really is so everyone take care and we will see you next time thank you bye, bye.